about this title as a person from engineering. I, I'm sorry, I'm sitting both on the tires. Because <laughs> I, I, I enjoyed much, not only the standard advanced session, but also the um, night sessions, webinar. <laughs> so, as you know, the definition of AR. So it is a technology uh, that uh, virtual object foundations can be overlaid in the real world as if they really exist. This is a functional definition. So we have been doing a lot of research for about 20 years in order to achieve this function. So now we can see so many AR systems. So now we can see the typical example in YouTube. Some of them were made by hobby users. So here is a movie. Here is a movie that a lot of Japanese people like. But is it what we wanted to create? The answer is of course no. <laughs> I'm not saying I do not like this kind of application. In fact, I like this one. <laughs> I'm not saying I do not like new style of AR applications we could not imagine 10 years ago. But this is quite different. I wanted to make 10 years ago. So I, I'd like to think what I was thinking 10 years ago. <laughs> OK, um, why have we been developing about AR technology? Because we believe they are one of the greatest approaches to support human activities in the real environment. So those include surgical operation in the hospital, assembly maintenance in the factory, and complicated to a high risk task in the daily activities. About 20 years ago, Dr. David Meisel introduced AR wire harness assembly project. Then we realized AR has great potential to support human activities. But now, uh, 20 years later, we do not think the current AR is the usual technology in the wire harness assembly task. Why? Many people have been working for AR for about 20 years. Also, some of us are thinking AR is not good enough for business. But it is not a usual technology yet. So we have to verify if we are going to the right direction. I'll <coughs> skip this slide before this is that we go. OK, so the first problem is about HMDs. So HMDs are most important devices for AR systems. Uh, recently, a lot of mobile phone ARs are proposed. Is it enough good to, in order to make our original dream? Probably it's not. So we need a hands-free and stereoscopic display. So what is the problem in current HMDs? So it is a fact that uh, people do not want to use it. Why? There are so many problems. Not cool, heavy, painful, tired, narrow recovery, low quality images, narrow dynamic range, low resolution. <laughs> the biggest issue is that, that there are few researches for HMD, though there are so many technical issues. In fact, there are no HMD papers in Asma 2010. Are you thinking somehow we may put HMD? I have been thinking about this. But it was a mistake. <laughs> so we, we must encourage HMD researchers, HMD researchers. If not, we will not be able to get ideal HMDs. Okay. So next one is on sensing. So as Professor Henry Brooks mentioned in his keynote talk, the city is good, but the tracking is bad. So batting is not only the tracking, all of the sensing, I think. So let me show you this video. 
So this is the construction site of Japanese house. So we, we want to support workers in this site. Like, uh, is the real structure same as the plan? What is the next to do? Where is the dangerous zone? And so on. So is it easy to develop such a uh, support system? The construction environment is changing day by day. A lot of new parts are coming into the environment. Many workers work together. So how about this? So this is the bicycle. So we, we, want, it, we want to show the annotation of important parts. Or we want to support a repair of flat tire. Is it possible with kind technology? How about this? Some people are working together. In order to support that farmer, we want to show the name and the activity of every people as an annotation. Is it possible? I think it's not easy. Why? I thought what is missing. So I think there are the main three the problems. The first one is 6D OF tracking of general 3D object. So we have now good tracking solution. But we have to improve them more and more in order to deal with objects with complicated 3D shape and specular reflections like the bicycle. The second one is the deformable 3D volume resolution. The surgical operation support surgical operation support system requires human body resolution. <coughs> We can obtain human 3D volume data by CT scanner or MRI system. But if the human changes his pose, the shape and, pose and, shape and position of organs change. So in this situation, we need to get the, the accuracy of the resolution <coughs> in one millimeter. So it is very difficult. The third one is the general 3D object recognition. So it is not realistic to put tags all of the objects in the world in order to display the annotation. So current natural feature tracking can output the pose and position of target objects. It's great. But identification of millions of 3D objects is impossible. We want to get a general 3D object recognition system that I can see the annotation of the all of the people in the room in front of me. Is it possible? Now some, some people say, well, we can have tags each other, so we can show the, the annotation. How, <coughs> how about this case? Do you know this? This is Japanese sushi. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, um, conclusion. Um, let's call the purpose of the function you want to develop clearly. So HMD research is uh, very important for the idea they are. So sensing is also important. Uh, I mentioned the three types of the problems. So also we need a clever backend uh, system for supporting the human activities with that scenario. That's all. Thank you.